Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I want to kind of clarify how the chord tracks tab function works in tandem with your grid snap values. And this video comes from a question that I got from Magic Monkey Music One. Hi, I love this course, it's so helpful. How did you get the tab function to work for inputting notes for the chord track? Yeah, so the chord track uh, tab function works in tandem with whatever uh, grid snap value you have selected, and in some situations works in tandem with uh, what grid division value you have selected. So first and foremost, you have to have grid snap turned on because if you don't have grid snap turned on, the tab function won't work at all. And if you didn't know this already, you can press Command G to toggle grid snap on and off. Now, if you're in smart mode and you enter in a chord, let's say I want A minor seven, and then I hit the tab key, it's gonna jump over to the next bar. So let me type in F major seven. And if I switch my snap mode over to bar, the tab function is still going to move over by one bar. However, if I set this to beat, so let's say I want a, a G here. If I hit tab, now it's gonna move over by one beat or one quarter note. But let's say I want this on the third beat, not on the second beat. Well, you just hit tab again. Let's add in an E minor seven, tab, tab. And now I'm back to the bar line. So in a lot of ways, beat snap can be really helpful if you have multiple chords inside of one bar. But if you need to do things that are a little bit more syncopated, a little more rhythmic, you may want to try out division snap instead. So let's go back to bar snap for just a moment. I'm gonna type in an A minor seven. We'll do another F major seven. And this time with my G and E minor seven, I'm gonna sort of syncopate this a little bit. Let's just zoom in there on bar six. Let's set this to division. And let's say I want a G. And now when I hit tab, you see it's gonna tab over by 1 16th note. And I can keep tabbing and I can find the syncopated rhythm that I want. So maybe I want an E minor seven here. And then maybe I want another uh, chord here. We'll make this a C. And so when you use division snap, this is going to follow whatever your grid division is set to up here. So you can change this by going from uh, beats and project down to custom, and then you can set what your grid division is. You could use eighth note triplets, which is slash 12, 16th note triplets, which is slash 24, or maybe I just wanna use standard eighth notes. So maybe I wanna do something like this, where I tab over, there we go, three eighth notes, and then tab over two eighth notes, and then tab over you know four or five eighth notes. So this will allow you to easily add chords that are a bit more syncopated and not always on the bar lines or the beats. Now, if you choose ticks and you hit tab, it'll actually tab over one tick at a time. But just keep in mind, there are 960 ticks per beat. So I don't really see any practical reason to use ticks for the tab function in the chord track. Pretty much, I just stick with bar, beat, and division. Okay, so that's how you can use the grid snap divisions along with the tab feature in the chord track in Logic Pro 11. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. And uh, just a quick update on things. I know I was supposed to have a listening live stream in April. I was gonna try to do it last week, but it kind of fell through. Um, I was gonna try to do it this week, uh, and that also has fallen through. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to have a stream in April, but I'm going to shoot for an early May stream at some point. That's the bad news. The good news is that my Logic 11 Mixing Fundamentals course is, I wouldn't say it's almost complete, but I'm in the final stages of 
uh, editing and just compiling everything and making everything look nice and neat. So the mixing course should be coming out very soon as well. I'm, I'm shooting for the end of the month, but we'll see what happens. So I appreciate all of your uh, patience uh, with the live streams. I pretty much just do them when I can at this point. And uh, I've been extremely busy uh, this month with the mixing course and uh, doing mixing and production work as well. So thank you so much for the continued support and thanks for watching.